Working across the globe, NRC assists vulnerable populations in some of the most sensitive and fragile environments. The very sensitivity of the environment means that it too is vulnerable, from a changing climate, from increased urbanisation and from increasing demand for natural resources. As the environment is degraded, so its ability to support those who rely on it is reduced. This increases the vulnerability of the populations we are trying to assist. We have a responsibility to understand where it is we can improve our knowledge and to adapt our responses so that we do no harm. NEAT is a simple way for us to achieve this. Taking data gathering technology and converting to an easy to operate app, you, the user, can now collect information that details the sensitivity of the environment you are planning to work in formal camps, informal camps, and urban settings. With this knowledge, you can understand where an impact will be negative and determine the measures needed to reduce this impact. In some environments, it will be water scarcity. In others, biodiversity. In others, access to natural resources. And in others, the issue of waste, pollution and health. Simply answer the questions yes or no. Pop-up screens will help to inform you and aid you. Moving from one screen to the next takes you through the process. Population data collects information on population sizes. The greater the size of the population, the more impact there will be on the environment. This screen also captures data to help inform on potential conflict areas. Environmental baseline data collects information that informs on the sensitivity of the environment. Some environments are more sensitive than others and suffer more significantly from impact. This is the information we need to understand sensitivity. Baseline also includes for current activities and how they are affecting the environment. Waste, water, fuel use, building materials. A summary screen collects your answers and can be downloaded for reporting. The screens after this start to collect information on the NRC project and programme interventions. Shelter, wash and food security are the three core competences that have the potential for greatest impact on the environment. For this shelter example, Using the same yes-no answers, the user will be informed of what has been identified already as a high risk during inputting data to the previous screens. The high risk is an automatic response to questions posed previously and shows you, the user, where special attention needs to be given. Here, you can see that flooding is a risk because the camp is located close to a river. In this example for food security, you can see that water scarcity has also been identified as an issue that requires further attention. This would be in response to arid or water-stressed environments. And finally, for this wash example, the water scarcity issue carries over when we are looking at whether the water supply is sufficient for the beneficiary needs. The scale of the project determines the size of its impact. And for your projects that exceed these thresholds, we need to be more aware of the scale of the impact and more work will be needed to make sure we do no harm. Making sure that we understand the environment in which we are working makes our programmes more responsive. Conflict can be reduced. Resilience can be built.